Hi, Sarah Banas here, Learn to Craft. I'm going to show you today how to install fonts on an iOS device um, that can be an iPad or an iPhone. This is incredibly easy. Um, before we go any further though, if this video is of interest to you or helpful, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos once or twice a week, just lots of ways to uh, make you a better crafter. So we'll get a really great series coming up here shortly on how to design for yourself. Uh, you won't want to miss that. So subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified of the new videos when they come out. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So this is super easy. You're going to need an app to install fonts on an iOS device. We're going to use iFont today. Um, I got that from the App Store. Uh, already downloaded and installed here. So let's click on that. So when you open up iFont, it opens up to this page. Um, you're going to want to click on the bottom. Click on Font Finder. And it's going to open up this. Now you can see here, there's a couple of options, right? Google fonts to font, font space. Those are all common fonts that anybody can have. Um, I don't use those personally. I use premium fonts. I just, there's so many beautiful fonts out there that you can use. Why not use, you know, the best of the best um, and kind of set yourself apart in the industry. But also the fonts that I use all include a commercial use license so I can sell what I make with them. Uh, and that's incredibly important that you're using the fonts that are correctly licensed for your use. So I get almost all of my fonts from font bundles. Um, I'm going to link in the video description. So when you're looking at the video on YouTube, underneath the video, there's a drop down that will expand. Um, and in there, I'm going to link the font that we're going to use today. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm also going to link one of our Facebook groups. We have a huge collaborative on Facebook, um, every type of group that you can imagine. Uh, I'm Cricut, Silhouette, Sublimation, Epoxy, Procreate. I'm going to link Cricut and Silhouette for beginners. Super friendly. It's about 200,000 members. Super friendly, super knowledgeable. You'll fit right in. So join us there. Um, so let's hop over to font bundles. I already have it opened up to my purchases screen. Um, this is the font that we're going to be installing. And like I said, I will link that in the video description. It's beautiful. Everybody should have it. Um, so you can see here that it gives me two options. Now, when you first it's not open. Then you click download files. This will pop up and it says OTF or TTF. Those are both font installation files. Okay. One, the OTF is also known as open type. The TTF is also known as true type. Either one of those files will work to install this font. When you're given the option, you'll always want to choose the OTF or the open type. Okay. So click on that and then click download. Okay, and now hop on over to iFont and click on um, Open Files. Now you can see here that Bluebird Alashanti, that that is just a, it's a regular OTF file. And then you can see here that I have other ones that are zip files or zip folders. Um, a zipped folder is just, it's a compressed, it's a way that uh, computers and iOS and Mac can um, they compress the information for ease of transfer. If you ever have a font that says zip on it, just click on it. Just tap on it and that'll open up the zip file, okay? Now, mine is not in a zip file. So I'm going to click it. And now I'm going to click on, on the bottom here, click on installer. And you can see it's already ready right here on the left-hand side. Click install. Click continue. Click allow. Close, cancel, and now what you need to do is now you need to close iFont and you need to go to your settings, okay? Now, when you open up your settings, you may see, so you may see up here, yep, right here, you may see profile downloaded. You can see, um, right, my name is on the top left and then three down it says profile downloaded. If you see that, that's what you want to click. If you do not see that, so like on my iPhone, I don't see that. 
And what I would click on then is click general and then click right here on the left hand side and then click VPN and device management. And then you'll see it right there. But for me, it's already right here over on the left. It says profile download. So that's what I would do. So either way, that'll bring you to the same thing. Click install. And that's it. And that is all there is to it. So now um, when you go to use a font on any app that you have on this device that uses system fonts, it'll be in your right in your font drop down for use. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Have a good day.